Good what? morning from... Hey, it's supposed to rain. What's that big yellow thing in the sky? I don't know. <laughs> Good morning from Quality Suites here in Stratford, Connecticut. Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's episode because today is going to be even better. We're on a special mission, which is a little bit off of scheduled plans, but mm -hmm. I think you guys will find some humor in it. 18 and over, of course. Let's do it. Andiamo. All right, we're here in New Hampshire, Sunoco. Someone said my phone number's in here on a wall. Let's go and see. Will you look at that? Who would do such a thing? There's morons born every day. Well, would you look at that? Somebody really put my phone number up on the wall. Now we got something to show you even better. And a little magic eraser later. And no evidence of the $10 blowjobs. Thank you. Ta-da! Something a little magic eraser wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. Mission accomplished. Thank you to everybody who told us about the phone number being here. It's officially gone. <laughs> On to the next stop. We made it inside, right down the road from the infamous Sonoko Station <laughs> men's room bathroom to the famous Greenland roast beef. We're getting ourselves a giant roast beef sandwich on an onion roll with a set of onion rings on the side and my Coke Zero. I'm surprised you didn't get a lobster roll. <laughs> In an hour, you're going to be eating a lobster roll. I know. So enjoy this. What's <laughs> in that paper? This is, from what I understand, heaven on a stick. This place is really hopping. There are a lot of people in here. Look at this. Oh my god. Those onion rings are to die for, but look at this. Crack that baby open. Yeah. World famous roast beef. There you have it. Some onion rings. Look at these onion rings. <laughs> I'm addicted to onion rings. Alright. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Mmm. Oh my god. To die for. I'm busy eating them onion rings, <laughs> but I gotta have some of those. <laughs> the sandwich is almost gone, honey. I know. <laughs> Too good to be true, right? Oh. We finally made it to Maine. Welcome to Portland, Maine, the mm -hmm. biggest city in Maine. And behind us is? Uh, well, we have a brew pub over here. We have a brew pub over here. We have the mattress store. Oh, wait, Pedigo Electric Bicycles. Thank you, which Thank means we're you. going for a bike ride. But let me show you around here real quick. He said there's pubs on both sides mm -hmm. of the okay. bike shop. Austin Street Brewery over there. And then you got mattress makers. You got the bike shop, and then you got Rising Tide. So pretty. Excellent. All right, let's go see if we can't get on our tour right now.
Welcome to Eastern Promenade. Panoramic view of Costco Bay. Lots to do and explore in the proms. 68 acres. If I told you guys right now that we have been biking 20 minutes, would you believe me? No. I'm wiped. This is where we are right now. You've got some softball fields, community gardens, tennis courts, basketball ports. So much to do for children. And out there is just like when we went to Florida. See that fort? There's a history behind that fort. Try to see if we can tell you in the next part of the episode coming up, but he's already taking off. He doesn't listen. He's such a bagoon. Andiamo. Welcome to the room tour of Ramada 329. Here is our lovely little closet. Not very big, but we don't use closets anyways. Here's our bathroom. Very pretty bathroom. Nice sink, nice toilet. Uh, small shower. And a little desk area. Mr. Murphy blocking my view. Nice mirror, nice TV. Mr. Murphy blocking my view. Blocking your view. I'm joking. Nice bedroom, nice little living room, and our view. Hmm. Not too shabby. Pretty decent. We have a little balcony that doesn't open. <laughs> there we go. It does open. Nice little. Yeah. Nice view of the intersection. Nice view of the highway. Mm -hmm. Intersection. Alright, so this restaurant next was called Stacks. They're only open for breakfast and lunch, so they've already closed for the day. And we got a list of a bunch of local restaurants in the area. So we're going to unpack our stuff and we're going to go continue this adventure. Hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Let us know what you think so far. And we're going to bring you some more. Welcome to the list of recommendations by our hotel for dining options nearby. Guess what number one is? McDonald's! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> number one. I am That's not. Correct. Your brother. Local dinner options. This is not an option. Your brother was the one that said, go to McDonald's and get the frozen lobster on the sandwich. I didn't Let's come to Maine for frozen get lobster. Lobster at McDonald's. We are not. What else? Panera, Chipotle, <laughs> Rio Bravo, Mexican is right next to the Panera. Chick fil A. Maybe Chick fil A girl is there. <laughs> I don't know. Applebee's, Con Asian Bistro. We're going to have to look at the menu at Con. Wendy's, if you like Wendy's. Hmm? <laughs> What is mean full of fast foods? It is. Not like Connecticut. There was no fast food. There was at not. All. Okay, we got a two dollar sign place, Luz, Luke's Lobster Portland Pier. Okay. Demilo's on the water. Three oh. uh three dollar signs. Longhorn Steakhouse. Jesus. The Porthole Restaurant. Uh that's four point three miles away. Two dollar signs. Becky's Diner, uh two dollar signs, also four point two miles away. So it sounds like the uh, restaurants that they recommend are, are really like four miles away, unless you want fast food or Chinese. Jesus. There what is this nation it. coming to? What's that smell? I smell seafood. I smell the ocean. Yeah, that too. I think we're on the Atlantic Ocean here. So we're inside the porthole restaurant. Or outside the porthole restaurant. Eating at the porthole restaurant in, here. That at too. Maine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been around since 1929. We are on the quest for the best lobster roll here in Maine. We were going to go to Evertide, but there was too much of a line. So, not too shabby for prices and whatnot. If you yeah. Take a look down, up and down the menu. Mm hmm. Up and down the menu. It looks awesome. And then. Entrees. our lobster roll. They've oh. got lobster BLT, they've got lobster tacos, but one of them is going to end up in my mouth. <laughs> they've also got a nice selection of drinks. Yeah. They're going to have cocktails. Cocktails for the non alcoholics. And mocktails. And mocktails. So I've ordered a ginger beer, he's ordered a margarita. And 
Let's right. give you a look see, huh? Yeah, let's give you a slow pan of the All right. Contact. So that's our server over there. Very nice. I didn't get her name yet. Good don't. Good don't. <laughs> These guys are having some lobster nachos, I'm sure. And then when you're down here at the Old Town Waterfront, you can get yourself a ferry at the ferry terminal, a water taxi, or a whale watching tour, lighthouse seeing tour. And uh, this is our first time down to the Old Town. We're going to walk around and see what else they got, too. Right? Let's see. Drinks have arrived. Mr. Spicy Margarita's at it again. Look at those jalapeno peppers floating on the top here. Can Go I ahead. have one? Go ahead. I don't want to touch it. Mr. Ballsy. Well, I might have to touch my peepee -pee later. It's a family show. I'm serious. And then I have the ginger beer. Ooh, that's good. Good? And the margarita's nice too. Nice. Sparkling margarita. What do you this. got there? <laughs> this is a lobster queso with a side of freshly homemade onion flavored chips. And uh, I wonder if it's like molten lava or whether I, I could dip one it. of these chips in there right now. Yeah. Let's see. You're such the biggest chicken crap I ever met. You had me at burnt cheese, baby. Oh, mm -hmm. all right, all right, all right. I think I'm going to have to come back for some lobster. Damn. Let's tell them how it's really done. You get your biggie chippy. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Look <laughs> at this piece of lobster right here. It's mm. hanging out from the sides, and I can't get it without a fork. So let me stuff this chip with cheese in my mouth. Oh, without mm. burning myself. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Have look at over here. It's looking really it's looking awesome. Good. That's Beautiful. too pretty to eat, isn't yes, it? Yes, <laughs> good. Anything grab right now? No, we're good. No, we're good. Thank you very much. Thanks, honey. Look at that lobster. Oh, you my belly. Mm-mm-mm. It's quads fries. How come you always get the first bite? You're not very nice. Because you need to hold the camera. Well, guess what? Guess who's getting the first lobster bite? Mm -hmm. This girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, why don't you pull it over towards you, please? Here. Mm -hmm. That's what I call jumbo. With the butter? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm getting a piece too. That was good, but I'm still hungry. Right on the waterfront. Yeah. Got the lobster roll, got the lobster, lobster queso. queso. And french fries instead of chips for our lobster roll. 100 bucks. Put cheese on the top of it. Drinks included. Spicy margarita. Mm -hmm. Ginger beer and egg. That ginger beer was very spicy. Every, uh, my thing was spicy. Yours yeah. was spicy. No, mine was spicy. Mm -hmm. What do you know? You not you don't drink non-alcoholics. We enjoyed it thoroughly. We did. And we are off to the next stop, which is supposed to be a oyster joint. Yummo. We're inside Scales Restaurant, home of the oysters and clams that they're known for. They have a really interesting menu. We're sitting in the lounge. We're actually not sitting at the bar because all the bar seats are reserved. But they've got a lot of good choices, including oysters and little neck clams. So we're going to decide on what we're going to eat here because we are on an eating roll today. But just going to show you a back pan of what this place looks like. It's very vintagey, and I love the way that it's set up in here. They are all hustling away. So get ready, we're gonna eat some more. So the waiter just asked Glenn what kind of oysters he wanted and he said, give me all North Haven. Little did he know that if he did it as a mix, you could have had a little bit of each, but that's okay because we all know how Glenn is and what he wants when it comes to food. Very hopping in here tonight. He's ordered a non-alcoholic drink for me. And what did you get for yourself? It's kind of a margarita, I believe. Again? Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. I think I should stick with tequila. No, enough tequila for enough you. Tequila. More tequila, more tequila. 
And how does it go, the song? Miles to get one shot, two shots, hey, hey. Three shots, hey, hey, hey. Our drinks have arrived. That's like the margarita. And this, what did you order me? This is Cliffside Rose. Yours is the Highland, um, Highland something. Okay, so he's ordered me an Island drink. Look at this. Ooh, tastes like a Malibu rum. Oh yeah? It's very good. Let's see what I got. <laughs> yeah, very good. Nice. Wow. Those North Havens are huge. Eh? They look really tasty. Yeah. We got some cocktail sauce, some lemons, and some minuet vinegar. Nice. All right, do one up. Get, get your shucking tool. Hang on, hang on. Gonna garnish it up with some lemon. They are really hustling in here. And then he's gonna throw some garnish. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think you could prepare one for me, eh? Oh, they already got them shucked. Here we go. Oh. Wow, man. Do? Wow, man. <laughs> they strong? Yeah. But Good they're flavor. Delicious. Ceviche, baby. Ceviche, halibut ceviche. Looks like we got some maybe pineapples in there. Take a bite. Cilantro. It's supposed to be cilantro. It's in there. I see some red onions. Go ahead, take a bite. Look at that. Yeah? <laughs> Damn. Did you valet park the car? No. Can't we just like snap our fingers and no. bring our car to us? No. What kind of crap show is this? <laughs> you're not the president. I sure don't want to be the president either. I like my job. And you're not a chancellor or a lord or any of that crap either. No. You are a peasant. King. No, you're not a king. It's gonna be the king. The food was really good. Spent about mm -hmm. the same amount we did over at Porthole. Halibut. We had some great ceviche, had some excellent oysters, and now I don't know where we're going. All right, we just did our souvenir haul. $70 worth of stuff from Maine. What we time is this? Gifts for people. People, he says. More yeah. like him. Um, I don't know what time the sun goes down. That's a good question. Late. How do you know? Are you like a forecaster or something? <laughs> yep, I forecast when the sun goes down. All right. Getting better at it. Let's see what else we can get into. You know, if I wanted to go to a nightclub, I can do that right back home. A nightclub? It's a little loud in here, and the lights are down, but yeah. the sun is coming down too. Yeah, yeah. And every place is busy. We got in here, it looked like what I wanted, and uh, we got two seats at the bar. You're a crispy guy. This is Thai food. The menu looks absolutely dynamite. Yeah. All right, I'm this excited. is our last stop on the food tour today. Today. Oh my, what is that? That is my special Thai margarita. All right. And your Roselle script. That looks like a great NA right there. Whoa, can I take a picture of it? Yes, dear. It's very tall and dark and handsome. So here you are. No 
don't put the chopsticks in your nose. <laughs> are they straws? They are straws. I wonder if they're edible straws. How's the Roselle Spritz? Good. Good stuff? I'm going to try my margarita now. Good stuff. We live in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. So we saw Sammy Hagar last night in Bridgeport. Well, these are the wings. He's busy having conversation. They smell really good. Extra crispy. Extreme. With some fried shallots. And Go ahead. Special sauce. Dive in. Oh, well, I'm going for a drum. There's the fried rice. Fried rice. Look at oh, this. Here he goes. Big. Here he goes. He's going in hard, ladies. I'm hitting it. <laughs> oh, Welcome to Korea. Dun, dun, long day. Dun, dun, main key. I'm long, worn out. Dun, let's this man go. wears me out all the time. Hey, There's I'm not our done. room. What? Already? <laughs> you sure it's not 325? What a day today. We had a great foodie adventure. We enjoyed our time in the city. And we're going to do it all again tomorrow. Everything that we spent. How much did we spend today? A couple hundred bucks? But you know what? The memories are priceless. And it's because of being able to do things like this that we can bring joy to every one of your guys' lives who don't have this kind of opportunity. We don't do it to show off. We don't do it because we can. We do it because we want others to feel like they're always with us. So until next time, Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Life with Lucia and Glenn. Live from Portland, Maine. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Make sure you tell one person to come join our channel. We'll see you in the next episode.